السلام عليكم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى أصحابه ثم ما بعد إمام سعيد نورسي in the book The Race he says our creator bestows on us the capital wealth the wealth or the capital of 24 hours of life so that with it we may obtain all the things necessary for our two lives if we spend 23 hours on this fleeting worldly life and neglect to spend the remaining one hour which is sufficient for the five obligatory prayers on the very lengthy life of the hereafter it may be understood what an unreasonable error it is and what a great loss to suffer distress of mind and spirit as a penalty for the error for squandering that time and to behave badly because of the distress and to fail to rectify one's conduct due to living in a state of despair indeed to do the opposite now Imam Sayyid Nursi rahimullah, is making a deep point here if we reflect and that is that Allah wa ta'ala blesses us with time time then is that which is used either for the development of the human being in society and community or for the destruction of the human being society and community so time then is capital why because time is invested in an activity either to develop or to progress the self in humanity or to contribute to its retrogression to contribute to its decline to its downfall so what he says then for the Muslim in order for us to be able to capitalize on our time we have to invest at least one hour of our day in the Salah so that the Salah becomes the fount the pool, the source of inspiration in life so that then we understand how to utilize the rest of the day or the rest of the time that is before us which would be 23 hours so then Sayyid Nursi is telling us that if we want to maximize on our potential in life that we have to take and invest that one hour of 24 hours and cultivate our relationship with Allah once our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is cultivated and we focus on knowledge to understand how to utilize and employ 23 hours of our day then we are charged with the task of self-development to maximize our potential if the human being does not focus the mind and the heart and action on that activity which will develop and push forward humanity from a state of retrogression to a state of progression then what we find is that the human being would encounter an internal crisis and this is what he calls despair so what Sayyid Nursi is teaching us then is that the crisis of the lack of Iman then is essentially or simply said to be that the human being begins to collapse upon oneself and the deep point to be understood here is that even if a person were to maximize on potential and achieve great things in the dunya but without a sense of meaning without a sense of peace without a sense of cultivation without a sense of what is beyond then that life is a life in crisis is not a life of abundance and here is what we find the competition in the dunya today those who will maximize on their spiritual and mental development for the sake of maximizing on material benefit and progress and growth but you find that many times that spiritual development is not one which is beneficial to the self and to humanity so as the nations compete for progress and development where are the people of Iman? where are the people who will manifest Tawheed? the relationship with the law so that it manifests in trade and in art and in human interaction and in thought and in, and in every aspect or every venue of life Sayyid Nursi then teaches us O oh believer come back to your senses and in coming back to your senses you must gain an orientation come back and orient yourself to the Qibla of Mecca come back and orient yourself to the Qibla of Mecca and face towards Mecca so that you confront yourself before Allah and you humble yourself in this universe and that you attach and you align yourself to that source of power and to that meaning and that you come into a consciousness of who you are in this dunya 
إِنِّي جَعِلٌ فِي الْعَرْضِ خَلِيفًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Indeed, I have established upon the earth a vicegenerate. And this vicegenerate then is charged with the responsibility of stewardship and development and service. Stewardship, development and service, meaning that the whole of creation is given to us as a trust. Development means that we are charged to maximize on our potential. Service meaning that we are to walk humbly on the earth in service of the good in service of the good and in cultivation of the good for the benefit not only of the Ummah but for all of humanity.